Look in any kitchen, on any picnic table, on any counter in a diner or table in a restaurant. Chances are you'll find this yellow bottle with the famous red pennant. French's Yellow Mustard, America's number one selling mustard. People pour it, mix it, and dip it. Runners even eat packets of mustard while racing to give them an extra boost. Mustard today is everywhere. However, the prepared condiment we know as mustard is very different from how it was used over 100 years ago. Mustard has been around for centuries. Recognized for its medicinal purposes as well as its spicy taste, mustard seed was milled into a powder and was mixed with water or vinegar to make it spreadable. This produced mustard that varied in texture and spiciness and had to be used quickly before it dried out. Enter spice sellers Francis and George French, sons of R.T. French. Francis had the idea for a new mustard. He recognized this as an opportunity to refine the homemade process and create a mustard condiment that was more pleasing to the changing American palate. The French brothers gave the task of creating this new mustard to their plant superintendent, George Dunn. Dunn stepped up to the challenge and created a recipe that would make French's prosperous beyond all expectations. This new mustard was smooth, bright yellow, and had a mild, pleasing flavor. This mustard's flavor and texture was so unusual, the French company had to distinguish it to set it apart from the more traditional spicy mustards of its day. So, French's cream salad mustard, with its unsurpassed creamy texture and milder flavor, was introduced in 1904 and literally changed the way America saw mustard. So, how did a small spice company in upstate New York let the rest of the country know what they had created? The French brothers knew the best way for people to learn about their product was to let them see it and sample it. So they brought it to the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis. With 20 million people in attendance, a quarter of the U.S. population, people from across the country had a chance to sample this new French's mustard. French's cream salad mustard was a runaway bestseller. Total sales for the company, boosted by the mustard, doubled in five years. And around this same time, the sausage was evolving into what is known today as the hot dog. Hot dogs! While the 1904 World's Fair may have been a great launching platform for French's mustard, it was America's pastime that made it into an inseparable part of American cuisine. It's hard to find a better marriage than baseball and hot dogs. The French brothers understood this early on. The famous French's pennant, introduced in 1915, was designed after the pennants flown over baseball stadiums. Americans' love for hot dogs with French's yellow mustard is as strong today as it ever was. And while French's mustard is the official mustard of Yankee Stadium, it can also be found in ballparks and stadiums around the world, delighting consumers and creating special memories with every game. While Yankees fans and Red Sox fans may disagree on baseball, one thing they do agree on is the mustard they use in their ballparks. In 1926, the French family sold the company to Reckitt and Coleman. Times were changing, and so was French's new owner's approach to marketing. No longer relying on World's Fairs and baseball games, Reckitt and Coleman saw value in advertising and embarked on the first true ad campaigns for French's mustard. They grabbed the attention of the American consumer nationally in magazines, in baseball fields, and eventually on television. We've been struggling to get onion into our sunshine mustard for years. And we finally did it. Introducing French's mustard with onion bits. When consumers saw that red pennant on the label, they knew the product inside was of the highest quality. 
In fact, quality was so important to George and Francis French that the brothers were instrumental in the passage of the Pure Foods and Drug Act in 1906, which paved the way for the creation of the FDA. Today, French's is part of Reckett Ben Kieser, a multi-billion dollar global company. And French's is the number one mustard brand. Our mustards are still made with the finest quality ingredients, using the same secret recipe for over 100 years. This includes the use of number one grade mustard seeds and grinding the whole seeds to get the best flavor. Yellow mustard has grown into a variety of popular flavors, including spicy brown, Dijon, and honey mustard dipping sauce. Innovation clearly drives this brand, whether it is flavor innovation or new packaging concepts. The glass jar evolved into convenient squeeze bottles, and in 2001, we introduced the now iconic shape, complete with a no-mess cap. For generations, French's has been a key ingredient in recipes developed in both our kitchens and those of our consumers. And while the days of handwritten recipes has given way to sharing on web pages and social media, the spirit of innovation continues. As a global brand, French's is finding its way into new and diverse recipes that the French brothers couldn't have imagined a hundred years ago. Consumers today are also thinking healthy, and French's mustard fits the bill with no saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, and no carbs. Our consumers know and trust French's to deliver great tasting meal solutions and easy to prepare recipe ideas for their families. And French's plays an important role in our consumers' everyday lives by creating special memories through everyday events and bringing those moments to life. For generations, operators have understood the value of having French's mustard on their tables and counters. It says to the customer that the operator cares enough to offer them the very best. French's is one of the world's most recognizable brands. That is the legacy of a century of consistent high quality and consumer trust. The vision of George and Francis French has become reality. By creating a consistent, reliable taste, they truly have changed the way America eats.